Hi everyone, it's Sally here. I thought I'd just jump on and make this quick video because I genuinely believe that I have this magic tool that will help you to improve your grades in exams and IB physics. And I've been using this magic tool for years with my own classes. Do you know what? Let's get straight to it, okay? Let's get straight to it. So, here it is. My magic marking grid. And you might think, well, that just looks like a spreadsheet, Sally. No, it's so much more. And I'm gonna talk you through how to use this marking, magic marking grid to make sure that you get amazing results in your next class test and you learn from your mistakes. So you can see at the top of this magic marking grid, we have a past paper. I've just completed a past paper using this magic marking grid. It was May 2018, time zone one, paper two. And I, because I wasn't very good, oh, that's absolute nonsense. 54% is very good. Um, I got 54%, right? But it's not quite where I want to be. I want to get a seven in IB physics. So I got it marked, my teacher marked it, I marked it with the mark scheme and I got 54% and I'm a little bit disappointed. So I'm going to use this magic marking grid to really assess where I went wrong and how I can improve. So can you see two things on the screen now? You can see the paper above me and it's been marked with the marks here and you can see the magic marking grid to the side of it. So imagine you just completed a class test or you've just completed a past paper and you've marked it with the mark scheme but you really want to say what have I done wrong and how can I improve? So here's how you do it. You scroll down your paper until you find a question where you've lost a mark. So you can see straight off the mark here, question 1A, this is out of two marks, but I've only got one. So I go up to my magic marking grid, I write question number 1A, because I've lost a mark here, and I write down what the question is about. Whoops. This question is about SUVAT equations. And in these SUVAT equations, I've lost one mark. And this is where I have to assess where I've lost the mark. Why have I not got the marks here? And usually the answer will be here. And you can see that I haven't written any units for my speed there. So I've lost one mark because I didn't write down units. So I pop a little cross under question 1A, didn't show units. Then I go to the next question, 1B1. Ooh, I got full marks for that. So I don't need to worry myself. Question 1B2, I've drawn a lovely free body diagram there. I've used a ruler, I've used pencil. I've got full marks. So I don't need to analyze any mistakes there, that's fine. One, oh, not one, yeah, what are we on, one B? Yeah, one B, three, uh-oh, that was two marks and I've got zero marks there. This question, so let's write one B, three because we've got zero marks, we've lost marks on it. It's about impulse and it's about average force. So I've written impulse and average force there. And then the reason I didn't get this question is because I didn't know the formula. I didn't know which formula to use. I'd written all the stuff down the side, but I had no idea which formula to use. So I go to the box and I write down, didn't know which formula. So you would do that for the whole paper. And then you'd come back to your magic marking grid and you'll start to see a trend. And that trend will show you where you need to improve in your um, your revision towards tests. So I know that I need to improve my explain style questions. I also notice that I'm losing quite a lot of marks on double slit interference. Can you see these three columns here are about double slit interference. So I feel like I should go and revise double slit interference. I'm sorry to tell you, I didn't know the formula very much. So I need to go and revise my formulas, have a look through the data booklet. Can you see how this magic marking grid will start to give you a plan and a picture on how you can improve your grades in tests, not by focusing on the, um, the things that you've done right, but by focusing on the exact things that you've done wrong. If one takeaway from this video is you can improve your test grades in IB physics by using my magic marking tool and I'd love you to do that.
And if you want to go further and take on a paid service with me, I'd love to have you on board. Take care. Bye. You know, there are tons of people who are revising for their physics exams, but they have so much to cover and they just can't do it all. A resource like this helps you revise in a really targeted way, specific to your weaknesses, and honestly, it blitzes and speeds up your revision, right? It's a phenomenal resource, and I'll put it in the description. All right. Also, I have released an IB studying checklist. You know how sometimes you can sit at the table to study and end up doing nothing for hours? Well, this checklist makes sure you know exactly what to do for any IB subject and sets up your whole day for studying so that also you're not burning out after, you know, three hours of studying. In fact, Alicia said the guide itself has organized her brain. So I'll put a link to the guide in the description. Guys, this is a great resource. It's totally free and you know, I'm getting tons of reviews on it. Also, are you an Instagram addict? If so, follow me on Instagram. This way you can be on Instagram and get better at IB at the same time. Not just look at weird videos. I post stuff on there that I don't share on YouTube and I'm telling you it is super helpful. All right, guys, take care.